Hello and welcome to Voice of Australia. Prime Minister-elect Tony Abbott has declared he's getting down to business on day one of his new government. Let's take a quick look at him being briefed by public servants. As you can imagine, I am a fundamental optimist about our country. Uh, the fundamentals of our economy uh, are good, uh, thanks to the reforms of uh, previous governments. Uh, we're in a very economically dynamic part of the world uh, and I think the future is all there for us. It is important though that uh, a new government swiftly ensure that government itself is living within its means. I'm here with News Corp Australia's National Defence Defence writer Ian McFedrin. Good evening. Good day, Ian. Um, now we've seen uh, Tony Abbott really uh, hitting uh, the, uh, the the ground running there um, with uh, the first Sunday of his new government, uh, making sure he can get things going. Uh, the minor thing coming out of the election is uh, the stoush going on in the election of Indi uh, with Sophie Mirabella. Uh, the Nationals were preferencing her uh, independent candidate, Cathy McGowan. A, a small distraction there, uh, but the Coalition's confident. Your thoughts? I think uh, they're probably confident that in the end the postal votes will get her over the line. Um, but it's a very interesting contest, this. I mean, this shows some early signs of coalition disunity, if you like. Um, you know, Sophie Mirabella is a very um, polarising individual, and I guess uh, the fact that the, uh, the, that the Libs ran a candidate in a safe NAT seat down in, the, in that part of the world encouraged the, uh, the, um, the Libs to, uh, to do this, and uh, sorry, the Nats to do this with Sophie. And I, I just think that um, there's such a strong independent candidate here, and, and the local issues have really come to the fore in that seat. Uh, it'll be close, it'll be really close, but I suspect she'll probably hold on. Uh, now moving on to Labor, all eyes are on the, the leadership of course. It uh, mm. looks like uh, the odds are on uh, Bill Shorten. Um, Anthony Albanese came out today uh, backing Bill and uh, I think uh, uh, Bill came out um, uh, backing Anthony. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be a bit of a convoluted process of getting them installed with, with Rudd's changes to uh, the pre-selection process. Um, yeah. what's, uh, how's this going to play out? Do you think? Well, it'll be, it'll be an interesting process. I think what everyone in the Labor Party will want is a non-contest. So in the interests of you know, unity and showing a united front and getting all this nonsense of the last six years, all this division behind them, I'm sure that they'll want to have a united front and they'll want to have an unopposed leadership ballot. So therefore, there's going to be a lot of deals going on left, right, of course, Albanese in the left faction, Bill Shorten in the right faction, a Victorian versus a New South Welsh person. Um, there's plenty of good people in the Labor Party, good young candidates around. Um, of course, Tanya Plibersek, a very capable woman as well, is, is also in the equation. But I suspect we'll end up with a, with a short and Albanese ticket of some sort. Mm. And uh, the final thing is, is the Senate. Uh, we're looking at a very colourful one that uh, mm. Tony Abbott will have to negotiate with. Um, the, uh, the Libs, it uh, looks like they're five short of a majority there, so they will have to negotiate um, with the Greens again. Um, uh, fun times ahead for, for the new Prime Minister? Absolutely. I think Tony Abbott was you know, absolutely determined not to have a hung parliament in the uh, in the lower house but he's got a hung senate if you like i mean and uh, i think a lot of those individuals from those minor groupings you know automobile lovers and the palmer party and so on will probably favor tony abbott's philosophies more than the other side mm. so he should be able to do deals but when you do deals in the senate there's always a price to pay and um, people will remember brian harradine back in the uh, in the 80s who was the tasmanian uh, uh, you know, a Catholic senator who did a lot of stuff for Tasmania and it cost the taxpayers a lot of money to get his vote. Well, certainly some interesting times to come uh, for a new government. Uh, thanks for joining us on the program again, Ian McFedrin. Thank you, mate. Pleasure.